देवीभूतेषु शक्तिपेण संस्थित नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वूतेषु मातृपेण संस्थित नमस्त 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 नमो नम यूतेषु मीरारूपेण संस्थित नमस्त 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 नमो नम now this is the de novo research as i told you in our very first episode new biology new anatomy new dimension of physical reality biology changes physiology also changes biology more unfolded becomes the self enrichment to physiology and that will still be a self enrichment to anatomy so the problem of life here on the earth is the problem of body and the problem of body here on the earth is the problem mortality it is not the problem of mortality it is the problem mortality mortality itself is a problem and we people are supposed to after the peak height of evolution scientist and the entire world of science tries to find out the problem of mortality in the present existence but virtually speaking it is the problem of the body as an instrument as an working field for divine to play his game to launch his divine play on the earth but while coming down to the earth and offering divinity's touch to the dormant and sleeping earthly life is a mutation darwin defines it to be a mutation but the very cause of the mutation is divine touch behind it mutation does not come to the forefront on its own it is the stimulant promoting touch which can bring positive and radical change to the inconscient life at this stage so, so 
in Savitri, in the very beginning, the new dawn is going to take place, Sri Aurobindo depicts. But how? All can be done if the God touch is there. If there is God touch, then everything is possible. If there is God touch, then mortality also can be abolished and immortality can dawn, can sign out. Not only mind will have to take cognizance of it, soul is not compelled to take cognizance of it because soul itself is a representative of the supreme divinity that is supreme immortality. But body is mandatorily adapted to such a level where the frequency of immortality can start descending down on the mortal proximity. That is our little plot. Plot is an instrument. Game is a scenario. And players are the trainees trained to play divinity on earth. So the true and genuine spirit behind this Leela is being launched on the little plot of mortality that is our body. So mother is going to regenerate the new instrument within the old instrument. Body, death bound body is a representative body of the past. It is outdated one. And new body is to be envisaged by the forerunners. The mass will follow, people will follow, existence will follow. But a progressive touch from the divine is to be offered to the existence. Sri Aurobindo and the mother came to offer this divine touch to the all dormant forces on the earth to prepare themselves for giving birth to the new world, birth to the new light and birth to the new body. So this is what mother started experiencing. That mortality is an illusion, death is an illusion, disease is an illusion, non-entity, not reality. It is the wrong perspective on the part of the instrument of life, our body, that we can have certain unwanted experiences and disease, disorder, disequilibrium, sickness, illness, they have got no concrete base of reality no concrete base of truth. It is the fact of life. What is what truly and genuinely is to be accepted by our mind. But mind is so conditioned throughout so many bir births previously that mind cannot get 
read of the clutches of the previous memories previous habits previous wrong forces this is for the first time that mother being a deputy of the supreme supreme on the earth sri arbindo is a representative of the supreme and mother after 50 is the representative of the supreme's envoy on the earth in mortal body so for our present consideration and understanding that sri arbindo up to 1955th december is a special envoy of the supreme to the ever growing earth consciousness through the body of the mother mother's body is a growing earth consciousness mother's body is an individual entity growing into universal motherhood three different stages of mother rather mahashakti depicted in savitri they are the ascending order of the creatrix world creatrix is used in savitri the force behind creation so the force that is behind creation is the force behind new creation the force behind creation is the force behind changing the creation and the force behind creation is the force behind the new creation that is fast emerging mother represents that force on the earth along with sri arbindo even after sri arbindo or sri arbindo's physical departure from the earth so the body of the mother is a well prepared laboratory well equipped laboratory for bringing down new world on this old one new anatomy on this old anatomy new life on this old ordinary traditional time bound life so the emergence of new body is a solution to disease disorder disequilibrium and ultimately and finally the death so that is what mother proclaims before satprem satprem might satprem might have been wonderstruck listening to this categorical statement direct from the mother's mouth we people are also disillusioned for the time being we are the immortal children we are the children of infinity our infancy is not the mortality bound infancy when we grow up our psyche is a child playing in the eternal garden our psyche is a child playing in the garden of eternity that is what mother stated so our psyche is a form of child so our body is innocent our body is pure our body is receptive but is so ignorant that it has not been projected as prepared entity for greater and bigger change <clears throat> having this body as our instrument we are supposed to realize what mother makes satprem to realize so for the 
present moment we have to place ourselves before they in place of satprem as if mother is directly talking to us mother is directly communicating to us whatever is going on inside her body how that new body is taking shape within her body using present body and that to at this age mother is offering us to see the real infant child of immortality being created inside this body this is the real experiment is not hallucination nor hypothesis nor accept accepted assumption it is the reality beyond reality what we perceive and what we understand death is an illusion death is an illusion mother says sickness is an illusion sickness disease is an illusion ignorance is an illusion these are the forces which invite death to the body these are the adverse forces adverse in sense not hostile adverse in sense which are not in the interest of the right and appropriate time bound growth of human body given to us in this birth under the patronization of our psychic equilibrium is disturbed and body becomes sick equilibrium is disturbed and body gets slightly deviated and is so deviated and so dragged into ignorance into illusion into some sort of ditch that is the ditch of death so sickness is ignorance is an illusion why ignorance is an illusion because body doesn't know where it is being distracted living the popular way of life and living life in an utmost uh, common way appears to be uncommon to the people uh, uncommon to the person who is living though we are living we are not living the life which ought to have been lived by us our track of living is fundamentally mortal fundamentally wrong which is not mortal but we made it mortal because of our own forces of dead habits we have made it mortal and we don't know that the entire entire stamina of the different forces ultimately make us to live ignorantly this way we don't know our own ignorance and with the result we become victims of our ignorance and still we feel that we are the master of the way in which we are living ignorance is an illusion something that has no reality see so clearly mother has pointed out here something that has no reality and mother says this after having undergone the tremendous pressure of the illusion ignorance and sickness pain is being still felt by the mother the presence of this mortal body is there with mother and the presence of the immortal body that is being formed within her body is also present there so you can just very well understand the border as such border between mortal zone of life and immortal zone of life this is the body for the first time is made to live on the border on the one hand side left hand side there is a mortal zone on the right hand side there is an immortal zone and mother is the only one body of the whole of existence and humanity that could 
see both the territories simultaneously. This is called extinction verge in Savitri. This is extinction verge. Mother is on one side experience mortality. Mother on the other side experiencing immortality. Something that has no reality, no existence. See, it is no existence. That is what Adi Jagat Guru Shankaracharya pointed out, Brahma Satyam Jagat Mithya. The existence of illusion, the existence of ignorance, the existence of death, disease and all disorders and disequilibrium is no existence because our human body is a chosen little plot for the play of infinite here on this earth. For that type of human body, this existence in which is made to live is illusion. Sankaracharya was also right. But Sri Aurobindo tried throughout his sadhana this clue that the way in which we are perceiving the existence, way in which we are perceiving the sansar, way in which we are perceiving the way of life that is granted to us for our living is not what it ought to be to our body. It is the limitation of the, our body that has made this. Now we have to change this scenario, we have to change our sight. We have to change this scenario, we have to change our instrument. We have to add, add some new forces and some new power, some new additional potentiality to our present human body. Really speaking, immortality is our privilege. But we haven't tested up till now what immortality is, what infinity is. Physical sciences, science of anatomy, science of physiology, sci medical science, they all horribly fail to find out the secret cause of death. Apparent causes are there and they are all the medical syllabi. But the real reason is still unknown. To that extent we are ignorant. To that extent we are ignorant. And ignorantly we are being dragged to death. Ignorantly we are being dragged to disease. Ignorantly we are being dragged to still a greater ignorance. Now what is this substitute to replace this ignorance, illusion, death and disease? What is the solution? Immortality is the result, final result, final outcome, final truth that in our own laboratory we are going to acquire and we are going to obtain. That is immortality. But how can we get it? So what should be our prime motto in our life to experience in order to open up this new avenue of immortality on this little plot of mortality? It is little though it is plot of mortality. But little can be virat. Little can be limitless, little can be full of knowledge, little can be full of divinity, little can have the potentiality to execute immortality. It is the wheel of this little plot which can make the divine concretely present within him or her. Krishna willed on the battlefield of Kurukshetra and Virat presented before him. But what is Virat? Okay. Virat is myself. It is my body. 
it is my true self it is my greater self it is my totality it is my reality here krishna launching all different leelas including war including birth including death including all sorts of dimensions of life are all his leelas but the real existence of lord krishna the real existence of sri arbindo says krishna consciousness is virat so body can help the experience of virat that is other state but unless and until this body is made to enter into this another state of its reality it cannot have the experience of immortality nor of infinity and nor of divinity so long as this veil is there we are ignorant so ignorance is not merely lack of information ignorance is not merely absence of genuine information for us ignorance is a state which is darkness which is tamas which is inertia so what is the final solution to root it out how to root out all such forces non plus forces forces of non entities illusory forces these are all hallucinations embodied only love and love and love and love see only love four times mother repeated the same word where lies the solution of immortality love and love that what we understand is not love what literature proclaims is not love what scriptures proclaim is not love what spirituality put being put into practice by all devotees of prem lakshana bhakti during the time of lord krishna and thereafter is not merely a love is not merely a love love is a master solution you should not get separated for a fraction of a moment from the divine living here on this earth concretely in human body is love we should not be slightly separated slightly away from the divinity while living on this earth that is love at one place in savitri sri arbindo says while projecting dialogue between savitri the lady of human body and death the total embodiment of all hostile forces and darkness what love have you got okay love is the divine love is divinity incarnate love is supreme power within me these are all indications and that is why mother repeatedly says love 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 that is the only solution to it so we don't understand the right connotation of love we cannot enter into this new zone of immortality though it is a neighboring zone zone of mortality and zone of immortality are neighboring zones because this lila is not meant for death lila of existence on this earth is meant for divinity to descend it is the creation of the lord it is the creation of the supreme so creator and creation are not separated creation and creator are not separated there lies the impact of love it is love 
So our body is a creation of the Lord. It is not our creation. Nor it is the creation of birth. Nor it is the creation of human body and human mother. Nor it is the creation of biological exercise. Nor it is the creation of any sort of exercises of uh, animated life all over the earth. It is the divine determinism that is the root cause of our body to emerge, body to exist and body to live. That is the root cause. Immense, formidable, stupendous, carrying everything. So many adjectives have been used by mother in order to connote this love. This is love. Love means coexistence. Where Gita stops, Yatra Yogeshwaro Krishna, Yatra Partho Dhanudara. Where there is psychic, there is body, and where there is body, there is psychic. Inseparability between psychic and human body can make this body immortal only. This is love. Stupendous, carrying everything, and the thing is done. Mother says, this is what I could identify within my body. Mother told Satprem, this is the master key. To enter into this new zone, leaving the previous zone of ignorance and darkness, disease and death. The transition to the next species is done. Satprem, transition to the next species is done. It is completed here in my body. Time will come when it will be projected. Once the first bird has flown above the reptiles, others will inevitably follow. If one man's perfection still can save the world, if one man's immortality can be so projected willfully and Cautiously, obviously, apparently, realistically, then other will automatically follow as the law of nature. So new law of nature is required for the new world. New law of nature is required for the new existence. And new law of nature is the nature of love to be put into practice. But the essential point is that death and sickness disappear materially in that other state. Death and ignorance, death and disease disappear materially in other state because mother's experience is a bodily one. Mother's experience is the experience of human body. The body as we possess, mother also did possess the same body. And apart from this bodily appearance, mother experience this de novo experience of immortality being played by the divine on little plot of mortality. I think this is my this is enough today.